What do Oprah, Saks Fifth Avenue, Procter & Gamble, and The Washington Post have in common? They all featured Dolores Presley's work. Dolores brings an impressive blend of personal and professional experience that qualifies her to be an expert in her field. She is a speaker, she's an author, she is a trainer. You've seen her on Oprah, you've seen her on the Today Show, you've seen her on Entertainment Tonight. Please welcome Dolores Presley. Hello, ladies. You having a good time out there? You feeling good? You feeling empowered? Have you heard this song by Whitney Houston? It says, whatever you want, whatever you need. It's right here. It's right here. Speaking of women's health. Anything you want done, baby. You can do it naturally. Can you do it naturally? Yes, she said, yes, baby. I can do it naturally. Can you do it naturally over there? Because you're every woman. It's all inside of you. Today, it's about you. It's about being empowered. It's about being the woman that you want to be. When you leave here, baby, you just will not. Be the same. Never underestimate your value. Never, never underestimate your value. I'm Dolores Presley. I have been teaching for 25 years. As long as I can remember, I wanted to be a teacher. That was assigned to McGregor Elementary. It's almost entirely white. When I got here the first day, I had a little boy, blonde hair, blue eyes. He looked at me and he said, when they told me you were colored, I passed out. And then he hit the floor like he had passed out. Yes. Yeah, Dolores on the table. I remember. Canton, Ohio. Oh, Canton, Ohio. I love that story. The little, little white boy said, I'm going to pass out. He did. Uh, and I he knew. literally hit the floor. He hit the floor. He hit the floor. Well, how old was he? What, class, what grade is this? Nine years. Four, nine know. years old. Uh -huh. He was uh, in the fourth grade. Fourth My grade. goodness. And what did he say? He said, when they told me you were colored, I passed out. He hit the floor. <laughs> What did you do? What did you do? Well, you could hear a pin drop because the whole class was like, Oh my what goodness. What are you supposed to say that? I'm just happy you said color. Oakley and I are high fiving. We're laughing. And for a moment, I just stopped. And I said, You know what? To myself, Oprah's human. Oprah cries. Oprah laughs. Oprah was not on a pedestal. She was not on a pedestal. Who are you putting on a pedestal? Who are you putting on a pedestal? Dolores Presley's story and articles have been featured in America's favorite magazines including Glamour, Essence, Ebony, Women's World, Marie Claire, and People. Getting heard, getting remembered, and getting results. She is a frequent media guest who has been interviewed on every major network, including Entertainment Tonight, Maury Povich Show, The Today Show, and Oprah. How about you? When you got your call, when you got the call, when you got the call and the person wanted to come with your company, did you say something like, um, okay, now they're going to, they took my offer. Why are they really coming with me? Did you say something like, uh, I got the loan, but now did I pay too much interest for it? Did you say, I got that government contract, but you know, it's just so much red tape with a government contract. Did you say something like that when you got your call? Or did you take that call and did you recognize the call as opportunity? Did you understand that it was opportunity that was in front of you? For me, it was just momentary panic, momentary panic, because I know that fear causes stress, and stress wreaks havoc on our bodies. It undermines our well-beings. It undermines our opportunities. You don't want to let stress take over your life. After today, we will no longer, no longer put people on a pedestal. We will not. Who has extended themselves to you and said, here's my card, I can help you? But you never honor the call. They'll tell you, I I'd be happy to help you, and you never call them back. We are not going to put people on any pedestal. I want you to be a part of the A-list. Now, I'm a teacher. 
I love A's. I want you to be a part of the A list. And that is ask, act, and appreciate. Dolores is so motivational. I just really enjoyed the, the talk. You know, her three A's, ask, action, appreciate. Just so motivational. I'm ready to go back. Dolores, I just want to say thank you to you. I will be acting and asking and appreciating. You inspire and you motivate, and I cannot wait to read your book. Thank you so much. I want you to take decaf with you this afternoon. And I'm not talking about the kind of decaf that you drink. I'm talking about when you go home, I want you to use these letters D for deciding that you want something in life. Decide that you're gonna build some relationships. You're gonna bless it and release it. Decide it. Then I want you to use C. I want you to be committed. Commit to what you want. And A, you can't do anything without action. You gotta have some action today. So you're here today, don't go home and say, oh, I have a great idea, but just leave it at the power networking. And finally, the F is follow through. Make sure you follow through. Use decaf, decide, commit, action, and follow through. This is entertainment. Foot 7 Beauty has been on an intense workout routine since last week when pageant owner Donald Trump said her crown came with an absolute obligation to maintain a certain weight. It irritates me that someone can judge you by your size. Dolores Presley, who runs the annual Ms. Plus USA pageant, thinks the Trumps missed the point of true beauty. She suggests that Alicia just be herself. She's a beautiful woman. I mean, no matter what size she is, if she gained 50 pounds, I still believe that she's beautiful. Dolores is the president of Born Successful Consultants. She is the author of Advanced Revelations to Modeling, Clean Out the Closets of Your Life, and Believe in the Power of You. I've never heard anyone say, when I grow up, I want to be a drug dealer. I've never heard anyone say, when I grow up, I got to be a junkie. I've never heard anyone say, when I grow up, I got to be a teen mom or a teen father. When I grow up, I've never heard anybody say, well, mm, not me, I got to be an unwed father. I got to be an unwed mother. When you meet Dolores, you will understand why so many top corporations and organizations are booking her to help them acquire core competencies to achieve success. To name a few, she has been sought after by First Energy, Procter & Gamble, Nordstrom, Farm Bueller Insurance, Saks Fifth Avenue, Athena International, Catherine's, Lane Bryant, and Roche Pharmaceuticals. Dolores Presley addressed over 100,000 people in 40 major U.S. cities. You were engaging, energetic, and inspiring. Jay McVicker, Roche Pharmaceuticals. You made an incredible impression on all of us. D. Tallarico, Superintendent, Santa Monica Malibu Unified Schools. You delivered an inspiring presentation that struck the right one after a day full of business and training. El Pinto, Procter & Gamble. Dolores can do the job. Maury Povich, host of The Maury Povich Show. I was inspired by her so much yesterday that I actually rearranged my schedule today so I can stay for her conference. What you learn in life, you use in business, and what you learn in business, you use in your life. So that's what it's about. It was fun, and that's what you need to take away on a Friday afternoon. It was fantastic. She is so inspirational, and, and she had a lot of great tips. It's not who you think you are that holds you back. It's who you think you're not. To reach Dolores, use the contact information on the cover of this video or DVD.